All right, you clicked on this video. That means you want to see a really huge Xcode build. And this one takes a long time to execute. I'm going to, of course, cut out all the boring bits. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Alex. And uh, today we're continuing with Xcode build testing. And we're doing this on the MacBook Pro 2021 edition with the notch. I'm going to call it the notch edition. Now, this one has an M1 Max chip in it. We're racing it against the 14 inch machine with the M1 Pro chip in it. So really, we're going Max versus Pro. Now, I know some of you are going to say there are some differences between these two physically, so they might have different results. Sure, but those are going to be minor compared to the differences I'm expecting to see between the chips and the execution times of this particular build because it's such a huge, huge build. And what we're building today is WebKit. Here is the GitHub repository for WebKit. It's WebKit slash WebKit. And this thing is huge. Even cloning this repository takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes to do. Maybe it took a little bit less time on the new machines, but it took about that on my old Intel machine, which I did this test uh, in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. If you're curious how the Intel machine, the Core i9 machine did against the M1 MacBook Air. Of course, the MacBook Air just blew it away out of the water. Now we're doing these tests with the newest machines, but if you still want me to test one of these newer machines with the old Intel or the M1, let me know in the comments down below, please. All right, let's get on with it. I will let you know a little bit about WebKit and what it does when we start building, but I don't want to waste time because this thing is going to take a while. So I've already cloned the repos on my machines and I'm in the root folder of the repo. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do this yourself, you can. All the instructions are here in the repository. You can get the code and execute. Uh, there's the command to build a debug version of it. You can also give it the release flag if you want to do that. We're not doing performance testing. What we're doing is just a build test. So let's copy this line of code or this command line and I'm going to paste it here on the command line. Now there's a couple things I want to do here. First, I'm going to use the time command. So when this is done, it's going to print out how long this took. And second, <laughs> I might fall asleep. So I'm going to add uh, a little thing at the end that's going to say done when it's done. And actually, because this is the max, I'm going to give it a different voice. So let's say Victoria is one of the voices you can use with that. All right, that's ready to go. I'm just going to paste it in here on the pro. Also give it the time command. And when this one is done, I'm going to say done. But we'll use the default voice. All right, we are starting out with the fans off and they're both at about 50 something degrees. This one seems a little bit warmer to start with. This one is at 54 and this one is at 51. Not sure what's accounting for that difference. Anyway, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Oh, and for those of you that are curious, I do have the power mode set to automatic on the max. However, both of these machines are plugged in. And we're off to the races. We're at 82 degrees now and growing on the max. And we're at 81 over here on the Pro. Uh, the surface temperature, though, is staying relatively cool at 33 degrees on this one, 34 degrees on this one. And it feels warm, okay, but it's not hot. We're up to 90 degrees on the chip over there. By the way, some of you asked what I'm using to monitor the temperature and the fans. The program is called TG Pro, and it's pretty cool. It tells you each processor and the temperature of it, the battery temperature, the fan speed, and so on. So what's happening here? Well, it's WebKit. WebKit is basically Safari, right? So we're building it and it's an Xcode project. You can open this up in Xcode, look at the code, build it from there, but this is an easy way to run everything from the command line. It's using Xcode command line tools to build. And it is an insanely huge, huge project. I think I've mentioned that before already. Here's the description from the website. WebKit is a cross-platform web browser engine. Okay, so maybe calling it Safari is not politically correct and somebody might correct me. On iOS, macOS, it powers Safari, Mail, Books, iBooks and many other applications. Okay, so it's like um, a web uh, kit that powers all those other apps. Okay, enough with the jokes, Alex. And if you're curious to look at it, you can pop it open in Xcode and uh, open the workspace and look at all the code. 
there's a lot of it. Good luck. So right now what we're building is the debug version for the web Safari, but you can also build the iOS version for the simulator and run it on the iOS simulator too. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Let me know if you're curious about that. And just to give you a little update right now, we're at 98 degrees on the max and we're at 69 degrees on the pro. The fans are spinning 2400 RPM on the pro and only 1500 RPM on the Max, probably because the Max is a bigger machine physically and it doesn't need to work as hard to cool the processors. Now, let's take a quick look at the activity monitor and see what's going on over there. Gotta say, I was expecting a little more stuff to be going on and it looks like on the Pro, we are pretty heavy on core three there. I believe the first two cores are efficiency cores. It's just not labeled on the Pro. On the Max, it is labeled. Core one and core two are labeled as efficiency and the rest are labeled as performance. But here on the Pro, for some reason, they're not labeling it. You can see that uh, in the history of the CPU on the Max, all the CPUs are being used now, all the cores, I should say, pretty heavily. Same thing's going on right now in the history of the Pro. So it looks like it does uh, take breaks once in a while, but uh, mostly it's building on all those cores. Now, you, some of you might also ask, well, why is this building so fast? Well, we don't have the results yet, but compared to the previous generations of MacBooks, right? Why is this so fast? And a lot of this has to do with the hard drive speed. I shouldn't say hard drive, SSD speed, right? So the SSDs that are in these machines are insanely fast. And because compilation like this is copying lots of little files back and forth, back and forth, we are getting the benefit of those SSDs and how quick they are. So the faster the SSDs, the faster these builds are gonna be. And yeah, the CPU does play a role in this, of course, but when you see those breaks in the CPU history, in the chart that I just showed you. You might be wondering, well, what's going on here during those times? Well, things are happening. It's just that during those times, maybe file copying is happening and not CPU usage necessarily. All right, let's see what happens at the end here. I'm gonna skip to the end and we'll see who wins. Victoria done. Huh? Oh, um, this one's done. Well, that didn't sound like Victoria. I think I missed a flag to set the different voice, but it was still scary as heck. All right, we're still waiting for this uh, M1 Pro to finish. By the way, the Pro CPU says it's 100 degrees right now, and the surface temperature is 42. So not bad, not bad. It means the CPU is working pretty hard. It's hot, but you, it's not gonna burn your lap. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable on your lap. Just wear thicker pants. Hey, it might feel nice in the winter time when it's nice and cold. All right, I'm waiting for this thing to uh, yell at me that it's done. A little anxious here, because this one was loud. Should be almost done, right? All right, don't give me a heart attack. Come on. Oh, oh God. Okay, you got me, you got me. Uh, I was expecting it, but it still got me. Damn it. We have a pretty big difference. I was expecting a difference, but I was not expecting this huge a difference. Ready for this? 14 minutes and 58 seconds total on the max. 20 minutes and eight seconds total on the pro that's uh that's significant so if you're a webkit developer and you're trying to build this and you're sitting there waiting for it <laughs> then i guess it makes a big difference but chances are if you're a webkit developer and you're building this you're probably going out to lunch or you're doing it overnight. Anyway, folks, I uh, hope you liked this video. Please do give it a like if you did, you found it entertaining or educational. And if that subscribe button is still red, make sure you turn it gray by tapping on it. Thanks a lot for coming and watching this video. I'll see you next time. More tests coming up.